feel like I'm like hunchback of Notre Dame. To, in, to give you opportunity to little papa, I can't speak. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the newest Natasha Denona collection. This is her Valentine's Day inspired collection. So this collection is called the Mini Love Story Collection. It comes with one of her mini palettes, a lipstick, and a chic duo. So we're gonna be reviewing all of it. I'm gonna be doing two looks today. So on one eye, I'm gonna be doing a everyday look. Um, and then on the other eye, I'm gonna do a, a more glam look. I'm also gonna have swatches of everything. And I'm going to give you my final review of whether I think this collection is worth the purchase or not. Start with my eyes. This is the mini love story palette. She has quite a few of these mini palettes. They are five pan palettes and they retail for $25 US. They're actually really, really cute little palettes. I absolutely love these. And if you are um, somebody on a budget, but if you do wanna test out some of Natasha Denona's stuff, these are great little palettes. Her eyeshadows are typically very high quality, pigmented, blendable. Um, her metallics duochromes and glittery shades are typically very unique. And again, really good quality. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is the lightest matte in the palette. And this one is called True. So it's a nice, like dusty lilac kind of purple. I'm going to sweep that in the crease. See how pigmented they are? So that shade there is the lightest matte. I'm gonna just buff that in and so that it's a little softer since this is the day look. And as I get closer to the inner corner, I am going to like soften it more so that it's darkest on the outer corner. Yeah, that's a beautiful matte shade. I love her shadows because they are really pigmented, but they do blend out really well. And my favorite thing about them is no matter what color it is, at least from the ones that I've used, the pigmentation sticks. Like, yeah, most shadows you do have to reinforce once you blend them out a little bit, but there's some brands that can, as you blend things out, kind of you blend away the pigmentation. Whereas I find hers are really good for staying true to the color and stay pigmented as you blend them out. Like they'll get softer, but they're not going to change color or fade. They're still going to be pigmented, which I really love. Just from first glance, I do really, really like this mini palette. I feel like every time I try a new one, I like, like them more and more. We're going to take this shade right here and use that on the lid. Right in the center. Sorry, I totally messed up the name of that li like lilac shade. So the lilac shade is R. And if you look on the back, I just noticed this, the names of the shadows actually create a sentence and it says, you are my true love. So um, the one that we used first was R. And then I just used the one called Love, which is like a nice pink metallic. I didn't like build it too much because again, this is the everyday look. So I want it to be a little more subtle. Just wanted a little pop of pink. And then I'm gonna take this shade here, which is True. And it is another metallic, like a really icy shade. I'm gonna just pop that kind of in the inner part of the lid. And then now what I'm gonna do is take a smaller brush with the same icy kind of pink and pop that in the inner corner, but we're gonna wet it in the inner corner to really make it pop. Yeah, that is a beautiful shade, I like that. And I'm just kind of patting over top of where the two metallics meet to kind of blend them together. I'm now going to reinforce that purple just cause I feel like now that we have metallics, it's not dark enough. Like I want it to be a little bit darker than that. And I'm taking a more precise like flat brush so I can use the end of it to really get in the crease and create some definition. Now that we have that more definition, I'm gonna take the same brush that I used initially to like fluff it in the crease and I'm going to just blend that out and diffuse it a little bit on the edges. I think that looks better now that it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna just take the dark purple, smudge it along the lash line just to create more fullness because I think a liquid liner would be a little bit too dark to contrast. I mean, I wear liquid liner all the time, but just so that it's a little bit more natural, I'm gonna use a really dense short brush to press it into the 
lash line. So I'm gonna press it and kind of smudge it along the lash line. This is a beautiful, like plummy kind of purple. It's almost darker than plum though. It's like a really beautiful dark purple. And I want it to be soft still, just add a little bit more definition. And I'm gonna bring it up a little bit, almost as if I was gonna do a wing. I feel like I'm like hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> I always do that. I like need to learn to sit up straight. It's good posture, guys. And now I'm gonna take that light purple just on the end and almost blend the darker purple in. Oh, I like that. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to clean up that edge. So I think that that's honestly it. Like for a good, just simple everyday look with this palette, that's probably what I would do. The only thing that I do wanna do is just add a little bit more of the pink, but I don't want it to be like too pink. So I'm actually gonna mix the pink and like the icy, like light pink that we use in the inner corner. And I'm gonna put it on a brush and I'm gonna wet it. I just want like, I know it's a day look guys, but I'm still me and I still like, Things to be bright. This is the day look. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some mascara on and that is this look done. And then we'll come back and do a more glam look. Totally forgot to do my lower lash line, so let's do that together, guys. I'm gonna take the brush that I used, tight line, and press the dark purple in. I'm gonna just use that to do the same thing along the lower lash line about halfway and then I'm just gonna diffuse it towards the inner part of the lash line. And then I'm gonna use the brush with the lilac shade and soften it a little bit. Now I'm just gonna take this brush that I pressed the pink with and I'm gonna use that to kind of smudge it along there. Now I'll do a lower lash line mascara. Okay, so that is my everyday simple look using the mini love story palette from Natasha Denona's Valentine's Day collection. Let's go ahead and do some glam. By the way, I had already prepped my eyes with MAC paint pot. Okay, you know what? What we're gonna do is start with the same step we did with this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade R which was the same shade I used to start off, but I got a little bit more this time. We're going a little bit darker. Packed it on the brush a little bit more. Do basically the same thing, but just make it a little bit darker. Oh man, I love that shade. It's like a stunning, it's not super cool. Like it doesn't look gray. Every shade I've used so far, which the only shade I haven't used is this more glittery shade, which of course we're gonna use it today. Uh, but that's the only shade I haven't used yet. So all the other shades so far, um, I've enjoyed. We're gonna go ahead and take that dark purple and I'm going to pat it along the lid. Now, the one thing I will warn you about is Natasha Denona's eyeshadows, as I've mentioned, are pigmented, but they also can have a bit of fallout. So just really tap off your excess. It does kind of kick back, like look at that pan there, can you see it? So if I hadn't have tapped that off, that all would have ended up down here. So just be careful. To me, that's not really like that big of a con. The only time fallout's a con is if you're tapping off your excess and you're still getting a ton, or if like throughout the day you're noticing a lot of fallout, because sometimes eyeshadows can like fall off your eyelid during the day, and that's obviously a big no-no, but I've never experienced that with her shadows. Obviously a really rich shade. Oh, I love that. So I'm patting it all along my whole entire eyelid. Now, use this brush with no additional product, just the excess, and just start to buff those edges. But I'm not like gonna bring it up any higher. I'm just buffing so that it's gonna kind of diffuse the edges a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take my first brush, dip into that lilac, and then just like one time tap a little bit of the purple. So I'm kind of mixing the lilac and the dark. You know what, it's almost like an eggplant purple. That's how I would describe it. Like, And I'm just, as I mix them, see how it kind of helps blend that out a little bit better? So I'm gonna soften those edges, kind of smoke it out, diffuse it out. 
those two purples are like made for each other. And that was like effortless to blend out. So really, really great. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a clean brush and diffuse that a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna get into the fun. I just wanna swatch this glitter shade because I think it's a duochrome. That's gonna be so pretty. Oh my goodness. What we're gonna do is we're first gonna apply the pink in the center of the lid just to see how like well it pops. Yeah, it's pretty pigmented. I felt like we didn't get a ton of pigmentation on this side, but I mentioned like I wasn't really going for super bright, but when you build it up, it definitely gets brighter, especially over that dark shade. That's a really nice pink metallic. So I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger by just tapping all over the edges. And now I know that kind of was pointless, but I'm gonna go over with the duo chrome. I just wanted to see that pink so that I could show you guys whether we could get more pigmentation off of it. And when you build it, or if you were to wet it with a brush, I think you would get um, quite a bit more pigmentation than on this side. It's nice to see shadows able to be soft and more bright. Um, I really like that. So now I'm going in with the more duochrome shade, which is the shade U. And this is like, it's pink and gold, like shift, but it's om the pink is almost like a fuchsia kind of. Like it has a bit, a really bright, almost like purpley pink hue to it. It's a stunning shade. That one had a little bit of fallout, which I was expecting because when you use your finger, you can't control, like you can't really tap off the excess on your finger. Okay, so sorry guys, my memory card got full. I had to switch over some footage and it took like 20 minutes for the footage to transfer over. So I did end up going ahead and I took my Rare Beauty Matte Liquid Liner and I did a really thin line and just a small wing. And then I did take the brush that I used for the purple and just kind of smudged the purple along to soften it and kind of blend it in so that there wasn't too much of a contrast. And I did reinforce just a little bit right there. And then I took my brush and softened it again. And then I did my mascara. I took a pencil liner in black. This is from Sephora. And I went along both eyes just on the upper waterline just to make the lashes look a little more full. So that's where we are. Um, I was about to start my lower lash line and realized you guys probably want to see that. So we're going to go ahead and do that together now. I'm just taking the dark purple, which is the shade My, by the way. And I'm just pressing it and building it up along the lower lash line. So I'm just going to bring it in. And I'm just going to leave a bit of a gap because I'm going to like highlight that inner part. And I'm just going to smudge this along to kind of connect it to the top and then blend that a little bit. And I'm gonna take the lilac shade, which is the shade R, and I'm going to start to buff the edges with that. We're going to take the shade True, which is that light icy pink champagne. I'm gonna wet it. Okay, so I'm first gonna press it on the inner corner and Pull it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the excess on my brow bone, but I am going to make sure it's a little bit brighter. Like I want it to be a little bit more bright than the everyday look. And then I'm going to take like a liner brush that you would use for like liner. I'm gonna take that like icy shade, the shade uh, True. I'm gonna make sure it's good and wet. And I'm gonna pop that right in here, right on top of where I brought the purple. Kind of connect it to the inner corner. Now I'm gonna just do lower lash line mascara. I was using the Pat McGrath Labs and then on the upper lash line, I layered the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. Okay, and that is my glam look. So as you can see, you can create a really natural, everyday, simple, quick and easy look and a more glam look. So this is the everyday look and that is the glam look. I mean, it looks funny when I have like, it looks like I have a black eye because one is dark and one is not. I did get the whole love mini love collection. So this is the Love and Cheek Duo. Number one, packaging on all of this is incredible. The whole, um, like the boxes of everything are like a hot pink and the actual packaging is like a nice, like bright, kind of hot pink. And then the Love Cheek Duo is similar to their last year's cheek um, palette. This one's a duo, last year was a quad. Similar like the whole water, what's that called? I don't know what it's called, but you know like there's like stuff inside and you move it around and it 
falls, like little hearts and glitter. Really, really cute. I love Natasha Denona's packaging. And when you take a look inside, that is the actual palette. So really absolutely stunning, like the detail and the highlight, it, there's little hearts, and this is a cream blush. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. So it looks like a pretty like bright, almost coral shade. Um, so it's not gonna be like, I don't know. I guess it actually matches like the duochrome and like the, the bright pink kind of. So yeah, it will tie in. Because she has those pops of pink in the palette, it pulls it all together. So I do actually like that. I really like Natasha Denona's cream blush because you can use them underneath powder, on top of powder. They like sink into the skin. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my sponge. I, I prefer a sponge. It works with both, but I just think that it kind of blends out quicker with a sponge. That's the shade that is in the duo. It is like a nice, coral kind of pink. And I think it does definitely, like you can see the reflection from the duochrome pulls, like it's like this, it's all pulls in together. And the same with that pink on my lid, I think it's really gonna work well together. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side. It's quite bright though. So, but it's blendable. Like that's why I like her cream blush as well because they're buildable, they're blendable. They're like a little bit of a foolproof type cream blush. Some cream blush can be finicky and harder to work with and like you have to do certain things to make them work. Um, whereas hers, like you can use them over top of powder, underneath powder. Um, they're buildable, yet if you apply too much, like look at how easy that was to blend out. And the thing that I like about her cream blush is like, look how it just soaks into the skin. There's, it dries right down. You don't really have to set it. If you do put it over top of powder, it's not like it's gonna be tacky or sticky. It feels comfortable and lightweight. And then her highlight here, again, love like the detail in the actual powder, but I find hers are very like, it's almost like a creamy, kind of powder, um, that's the highlight there. And when you actually swatch it, it has like a pinky, it's almost like duochrome-y, it has a pink hue, but then in the light, it's very golden. So hopefully it's not gonna be too dark for my skin. That's a nice highlight. And I think because it has the pink underneath, it blends right in and you you do see the majority of the, the color you see on, like on the cheekbone is that nice light gold. It's not like a too, it's not too dark. Like I'm really pale, so. Um, if you're pale and think, oh, like that swatch is really dark, um, I think it's a personally a flattering shade and I think it would look good on a lot of different skin tones. Like I like her highlights because they typically are pretty, you know, universally flattering. Yeah, oh, I like that. And her formula is so finely milled. It's almost feels and looks like a cream highlight, but it is powder. It doesn't emphasize texture and I'm like going in with it. Now we're gonna do lips. So the lipstick, I've already swatched because I had to pick a, li a lip liner and it is part of her I Need a Nude lipstick collection. She has a bunch of nude lipsticks with a ton of different undertones. Like there's more warm, there's more cool, like there's more beige undertone, more pink undertone. If you know what I mean, this one, it has more pink undertones than the last two that she came out with. Slightly darker, a little bit more pink and almost mauvey. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. The one that matched the best, the one that I picked that's just slightly darker is Primrose by Marc Jacobs. As you can see, it's a, it, well, it is darker, um, but I like to have a little bit of a darker lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the lips and then I'm gonna apply the Natasha Denona lipstick. Okay, and this is the packaging for the lipstick. It is her typical square, kind of chunky lipstick packaging, but it is in that like hot pink, which I really like. The actual bullet has ND engraved if you've never seen her lipsticks. Really, really beautiful. Um, I think I like this shade a little bit more than her last ones because it has a bit more of a pink undertone. But I'm really like not, I don't care. Nude lipstick, I love them all. I like her lipsticks because they are really creamy. They have a stunning scent. Kind of similar to MAC lipstick, like that like sweet vanilla scent, but it's a little bit different. They're almost like a satin finish. It has a bit of like a sheen to it. Like it smooths out any texture. 
really, really pretty. Ooh, I like that. I do think that um, this collection is really stunning. I don't think there's much that I can complain about. I really like the two different looks and I know I look crazy right now. I do like the glam look better because that's just me, but if you're more of an everyday girl, I think you can create really stunning, simple, soft and subtle looks with this as well. I like that it comes with a nice dark, rich purple, but it's rich enough that you can use it as a liner. All of the colors really pull in together to in, to give you opportunity to little papa I can't speak gives you the opportunity to create some really cool looks I think you could do a lot with it like I already have more ideas of what to do I mean obviously with five shades there's only so many looks you can create I think you know that going into buying a mini palette but I think for a mini palette this is one of my favorite I think I think I say that every time I test one of her new mini palettes but I think this may be my favorite favorite it may be i don't know though it may be i really like the cheek palette i do recommend testing out her cheek products as well her highlights are some of the most finely milled i've ever used and her cream blushes are really versatile and easy to use so i do like this i give this a thumbs up as well i think that the colors because there's those pops of pink in the palette and because it's it's not quite as bright as it looks in the pan it is a stunning blush and i do think it pulls in together with the look and then i really like the lipstick now the edges are a little bit darker because i did line them with a bit of a darker lip liner but i do really really like the shade a mauve kind of pink i think just all of the colors of all three components really just pull in together to create a beautiful romantic collection here so i do really love this collection i do personally think it is definitely a hit it is definitely probably the collection i can most confidently recommend to you her holiday collection was really 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 beautiful as well um but this one i think i like even more i just like the shades that are in it it's just like per my personal preference it's going to be whether the color selection is for you but i think quality wise through and through is really stunning and you get the ability to create some really beautiful looks i'm going to be having swatches coming in just a couple seconds of the whole entire thing so you can see all of the shades up close and personal thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give this video a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i do have a giveaway going on right now so you don't miss out on that i will put all the information down in the description below and i'll also have the video up in the cards here i hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. See you guys next time. Bye.